name is Dean Regas. I'm the Outreach Astronomer of the Cincinnati Observatory Center. The number one question we get now at the observatory is, what is going to happen on December 21st, 2012? A lot of people have been reading on the internet, listening to hearsay and ancient Mayans that the world is going to end. Well, I'd like to cover some of these myths and at least from the astronomical perspective, let you know that there's nothing to worry about. So I want to dispel some of the incorrect notions about uh, planetary alignments, the Earth lining up with the black hole in the center of our galaxy, a rogue planet that the government's not telling you about, super sunstorms, the pole shift, and asteroids hitting the Earth. And then afterwards, at the end of the video, I'll tell you a little bit about the Mayans and what they actually did believe. So let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is there will be no planetary alignment on December 21st, 2012. There'll be no solar eclipse, no lunar eclipse, we won't have the Earth on one side of the solar system, all the other planets on the other side, and we won't fall off. Nothing will happen whatsoever. We had a really good planetary alignment in May 2002 where you could see all the naked eye planets in the sky as, long, as well as the sun and the moon. Now that's a planetary alignment. And a lot of people predicted doom for that day and nothing happened. However, I did bowl an amazing 225 that week. So, coincidence? Well. The Earth does not line up with the center of the galaxy in the black hole in 2012. From our best uh, evidence, astronomers believe this happened in 1999. And this happens actually pretty frequently. Every December we kind of line up, the sun lines up in a line of sight with the black hole in the center of our galaxy, and nothing ever happens. Because the black hole is always about 30,000 light years away from us. That's 174,000 trillion miles. So this black hole has no effect on you whatsoever. The person sitting next to you has more gravitational influence on you than this black hole, especially if they're cute. Well, what about the uh, rogue planet? Is there a rogue planet out there that the government isn't telling you about, has, that they're hiding? Well, unfortunately not. Uh, there is no planet out there, and the government couldn't hide it. Most of the observatories in the world are not run by the government, including mine. If this planet was only three years away from us, everybody would be able to see it. The hundreds of thousands of amateur astronomers around the world would be able to see it. And from what I know and love about amateur astronomers, they cannot keep a secret. They love sharing everything that comes through their telescope. Uh, the next one would be pole shift. Now, pole shift, a lot of people have some misconceptions about it. Most people believe that pole shift means that the whole Earth is going to do this and flip over, knocking us all off the Earth. Well, that's not exactly the truth. A pole shift happens when the magnetic poles shift, and that means that your compass is going to point south instead of north. And this has happened throughout our history quite often, and there's no correlation between this and any mass extinctions. And there's no, not going to be extra radiation hitting the Earth, and so we should be just fine if this happens in 2012. Another one is asteroids hitting the Earth. Is there an asteroid uh, scheduled to hit the Earth in 2012? Absolutely not. That asteroid's going to hit us in 2036, so don't worry about that for now. Super sunstorms, there are no super sunstorms scheduled for 2012. In fact, the sun has just emerged from the quietest period in its last century. And so it's going to be a very quiet 2012. It'll be nothing like the big storm of 1859. And of course, we all remember that very well because uh, nothing happened. So astronomically, there's nothing to worry about. And what the Mayans even were predicting is kind of hard to say. When their calendar ran out, did they predict gloom and doom? Not really, they just had the end of one cycle and the start of another. And they could predict things pretty well. They could predict the cycles of Venus, eclipses, but they weren't perfect. And when this, when this happens on December 21st, well, if we go back to day one, day one would have been August 11th, 3114 BC. And there were no planetary alignments, there were no eclipses that day, there was nothing special about day, that day whatsoever, just a normal August 11th. But the real question is, when was day one? There's no consensus about when day one was. And if we don't know when day one was, we don't know when the final day will be. So the Mayan calendar may not even end on December 21st, 2012. They could end on a totally different day. Well, if the Mayans were anything like me, and their calendar ran out, I'd just go buy a new one. But hey, it's not the end of the world. 